Good morning guys. Uh, today me and my friend Philip is uh, going out for sander. It's in the beginning of the summer and the sander has just finished the spawning. They have been protected so now we are allowed to fish for them again. They are slowly making their way out to deeper water and hopefully we're gonna ambush them along this route. So let's go out and see if we can find them. There I got it. Oh, what a strike. Sander bite? Oh, clear. Clearly, uh, rock hard sander bite. Well, that a, was a start. What uh, lure are you using? Um, 9.5 centimeter bull tees in the color headlight. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It's not a big fish, but... It looks more like a sander. Yeah, I'm afraid to say anything. I think it's a sander. You want me to get the net? Yeah. It must be a sander. I think so. <coughs> I think so, yeah. The first one of today. Nice. Nice. First one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Finally. Well done, Jorgen. No monster, but uh, the first one is important. It's a good strike. Typical sander. Very aggressive. Very healthy little fish. See how broad it is. The back. Absolutely no monster, but so welcome. 10 centimeter shutty slim. The famous my, color, official my, my, roach. My favorite yeah. color, official roach. It's always, always a safe bet. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. To get the first one. Cool fish. Got one. Could be a sander. Could be a sander. Keeping low, keeping deep. <laughs> Here it comes. A little bit better. Yeah, number two. This is a really nice fish. They're so bloody healthy, these sander. Look at the back. It's crazy how wide they are. This is an angry beast. As you can see, it's still got this dark bluish color on the fins uh, from the spawning. So you can tell it's a male fish by the dark color, but really, really nice looking fish. We are uh, fishing in an area with a uh, rocks and stones, uh, underwater islands and plateaus with, with hard bottom. The sander always like hard bottom, so we have an, an, a big area here with tops and uh, deeper uh, gullies and most important a lot of rocks and stones. And uh, the depth is, uh, we've caught them around 3-4 meters. And uh, make sure to always search for the sanders in, in areas with, with hard bottom. That's the, the key to find them. It can be muscle banks and can be uh, areas with uh, hard uh, sand uh, or gravel. But, but they like uh, hard bottom, so that's the key to finding the sander. In this uh, situation we are not using the electronics to, to look for fish. I use the side view to find areas with hard bottom and the maps we have uh, configured the, the, the instrument so every half meter I get a new color so then I can easily see if you look at the map here you can easily see the depth changes th thanks to different colors so that that uh, helps a lot uh, to find the spots where you can uh, uh, hopefully find the sander
Yeah. It's a good strike. It can be a sander, but I think it's a pike. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. It's going kind of deep. Uh, this must be a sander. I think so. I think so. It's angry. Nice Jorgen. I'm lucky to have Jorgen in the boat these tricky days. Oh, I love the hard strikes when they take the, the lure. Another nice sander. Very healthy fish this also. I'm stubborn. I keep fishing with my 10 centimeter official roach. When the fishing is like this, uh, when there's so few bites, uh, I think it's better to stay with something that you know works than uh, just keep on changing too much. So I keep going with a, a trusted old lure and a trusted color. Goodbye. Cool. To be honest, uh, I've kept it uh, quite simple today. I just brought two rods, uh, W6 finesse shad, 10 to 28 gram, with uh, size 3000 uh, Shimano Twin Power and uh, 0.14 millimeter uh, W6 braid. When you're fishing this kind uh, of fishing style for sander on hard uh, rocky bottoms, you often get stuck in the stones. Uh, and it's actually a good thing because you know that you're on the right spot. When there are big rocks and you get stuck, you know that you're on a good bottom for sander. But you don't need to lose your bait just because you get stuck. Um, the, actually the worst thing you can do is to pull. Because then you pull your lure in between the rocks. The thing that you can do is that you take the line with your hands and um, keep the line stretched and then you shoot with one hand and keep, keep the line with your other hand and the important thing here is to um, when you shoot you have to let go of the line so the bait can bounce back and then you get it loose. Just like that. So you don't have to lose the bait just because you get stuck. And you don't have to uh, lose your pos position and go and get it. It's better to just shoot it loose. It's a good tip for this kind of fishing. Doubt it. Yes. This is a sander. It's a very hard strike. This looks like it could be a bigger one. Yeah, maybe. Very hard, or maybe a pike. <laughs> this must be a big pike. I think it's a pike. I'm afraid it's a pike. Oh, I was hoping for a big sander with that strike. Not what we were what we were hoping for, but at least some action. Nice summer pike. Hard fighter. Put him back again. Yeah, there I got one. Say at the not at all. This could be a sander, and I really hope that it is. It feels like a sander. Well done, Philip. Yeah, 
This is a sender. Probably a good one too. Oh, it's fighting good. They are strong, huh? This is it. It feels like a like a real heavy fish. I think it's a good sun. I think it's a good sun. Yeah, typical head shakes. Just take it easy. They are bloody strong. <laughs> I can't move it. <laughs> Just take it easy. He will come when he's ready. Just take it easy. Can't move it. Take it easy. You said that sander is not so strong, huh? <laughs> I take it back. Yeah. When you have a big sander, they are but they fight so different to a pike, but you just cannot lift them when they're really, really big. They have a special way of fighting, but they are bloody strong. It's actually more fun to fight a sander than a pike because the pike are so, what to say, like uh, aggressively in uh, in another way yeah. uh, on this light gear. Uh, the, the sander is like doing this. Oh, this is a, a nice one. Very nice fish. Very nice. Yes. Congrats, yes. my friend. Thank you. Well done. That's a very nice fish. That's a, I think maybe six kilo fish. That's a really nice fish, Philip. That's a really nice fish. Caught on the 10 centimeter shed tees in the trusty color official roach. And my TNC rod, 7 to 21 grams, really had to work hard for this one. I couldn't move it. It was so damn strong. And it was a real fun fight. And just look at this, this fish. It's a pure muscle. What a fantastic fish. What a fish, Philip. That's the one we've been searching. That's the one we've been searching for and we've been really fighting hard to get. We said that we, we wanted at least one better fish and yeah. this was the one. Absolutely. And, and, and hopefully we can get some more. But um, when it's tough condition, use the 10 centimeter shed tees. It's one of the most trusty bait you can use. And, in the color official roach. It's just magical. This style of fishing, that traditional yigging for sander on the rock hard bottom is just, it's, it's so much fun. And catch a fish like this, it was just below six kilos. It's a fantastic fish and a fantastic fight. I can really recommend this, this kind of fishing. Have, if you haven't tried it, go out and do some uh, jigging for sander. I can really recommend it. I was just releasing the pike when you got the strike uh, for the big from the big sander. We said on, on, on this spot that we are now that we were feeling that we were gonna catch something. So when you have the pike in the net, I continue fishing to use all the time that we have, and it paid off. Yeah. So it's oh, it was uh, a great, fantastic. It was so fun. Great sequence. I got a fish. It's a sander. Yeah. Nice. Another one. Not a big one, but a beautiful little sander. Another one on the Shetty Slim. Nice. I catch the small ones. <laughs> Good boy. Yes, there I got one. You got a fish? What do you think? It feels like a 
Kaikki. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's hard to say. It's always hard to say. Yeah. But it uh, it's going kind of deep, so it it uh, can absolutely be a sender. Maybe, maybe. It's a heavy fish. It feels like a sender. Now it's behaving like a sender, yeah. yeah. Feels like a heavy sender. Now it's the right, the right. Uh... Yeah, it's a good sender. Well done, my friend. Well done, my Once friend. Once again, my <coughs> W6 TNC oh, yeah. 7 to 21 gram rod had to work hard. What a feeling! It's so nice, it's so so damn nice. That's a four kilo fish, yeah, around that four kilo mark, I think. Caught on the, the trusty 10 centimeter shetty slim once again. You can always trust this lure. Just have a little faith. <laughs> Fish slowly. Be, pace, be patient when it's a little bit tricky and this lure will deliver. I can promise you that. I'm gonna take a picture when we hold it. It's so fantastic. It's time to release this hard fighting sander oh. <laughs> the classic splash <laughs> well done Philip thanks great